Hey guys, what's up? So I thought I'd give you a review, uh, not so good review, view of the uh, Amazon Basics PLA. Um, the, actually, the spool is really nice, but that's about it, man. Yeah, definitely a nice looking spool. But um, I've I have two printers here. And I finally gave up on this stuff because it just I've had so many failed prints that halfway through these long prints, it will just like it will clog up on itself or something. It's it's weird. Um, and I don't have a clogged extruder, but then if you take a look at that, I don't know if you can see that. Get on my hands, you, you see it better. See that little groove in there? My uh, Titan Arrow will just start cutting a groove in there. So I've actually had much better luck with the Inland Micro Center brand PLA. But uh, print something out right now. This this is actually I decided I've, I had enough of this stuff and. You know, after this last failed print, I'm reprinting out again with the Inland. But uh, I did print out some test cubes when I first got it to see what the best temp would be. Uh, you have 220, 210, uh, 200, 190. But yeah, it seemed like 190 was actually the best, uh, the highest detail. And it was weird. It, it, the hotter it got, the more glossy it got too as well. But uh, like all these prints, this is not the only print. Like this right here was another failed print. Like it would randomly just like uh, stop extruding and it would start cutting into the filament. So I don't know what the exact problem is there, but you know, like I said, I know that the I'd, I'd go back, I'd pull the filament out, I'd plug it back in. The the thing wasn't wasn't uh, clogged the nozzle. So yeah, I mean, I've literally have been had one fail print after the other. So anything bigger. So but I haven't tried it in my smaller printer bot. It might be better than that printer, but. Man, I don't know. It, so far, it's been super, super frustrating. So, I'm um, I can't deal with that anymore. So, what I what I got, I know it works. The Inland PLA Plus. All right. So, if you're thinking about getting this, it might work in your printer. It just doesn't work in mine. At least this printer right here. This is an Ada E10 with the Titan Air upgrade linear rail. Then a that's a printer bought simple metal. All right. Alright, so this is what the Amazon PLA does, and that's what the Inland does. So, pretty much the exact same settings. I mean, I try different temperatures, different speeds, different whatever, you know. And uh, all kind of, I think I got like one good print out of there, out of about 20. I mean, I have failure after failure after failure. All kind of the same thing, you know. The same thing with one. So the first layer would go down fine, and after a while it would just kind of get crazy. Alright. 